Hello Searchbus fans, my name is Bogman and in this video I will show you how to debug the index and see what happens uh, behind the scenes. So there are a few different um, ways you can debug the index. You can um, generate some log files and see um, what Searchbus does behind the scenes or you can open directly the index and see what content is there in the index. And we also have a tool to test how the document indexer works. So I will start with the simplest, with the log files. So if you go into the search admin, there in, under general settings, there are two checkboxes, two options to turn on, on uh, logging. And we have two levels of logging. It's the indexer logging that happens at the indexing time, which runs on a schedule. So this could happen, for example, once every 30 minutes. And you set it, this to debug. And there is the search logging that happens at search time when the user searches for something and that can also be logged. So I'll save this and now I will just do an index. And while I wait for it to finish, I will go into the folder to show you where the log files are. So under the uh, portal, so I mean the portals folder under the default logs search boost. Here are the indexer logs. So you see the indexer logs are not per site. They are under the host folder. They are per host. So indexing happens once per host. But this is subject to change in, in search boost, uh, in the future version of search boost. So now uh, I can go uh, uh, and look. There are two patterns for these file, file names. They are the doc, uh, doc analyzer. So what this is a process that scans folders and see what uh, documents have been uh, updated, added or deleted and puts them in a queue. So this just uh, if I open this to view it, you, you will see it also shows errors. For example, here it was a lock error. Probably another operation was in effect. And then it shows what uh, query is using for some operations. For example, here it's a DMX integration and it looks for the last, uh, for some metadata regarding the, the DMX documents that are on disk and so on. So you can go, actually can go through all this log and see if there are uh, errors or looking look for something spe spe specific. Okay, and then there is the indexing file and this happens uh, when the indexer and the indexer takes all the content and uh, indexes it so this is the process of taking uh, like for example plain text content like this is some plain text content and turn it into some tokens that is uh, fast very fast to search and that is called the index so that is what this indexer does and it shows detailed information about uh, each step so it it goes in and indexes uh, modules on the uh, on the site it indexes documents it indexes custom rules and so on and it shows uh, detailed information about every step that it takes so you can go in and debug it even it shows the content that it's extracting so for example here it uh, it um, indexes a uh, quick links module from page uh, with this id which is a dnn html module and then it says that it got this title and then it got the, this description and then it got this content. This is an HTML content that would be also stripped when indexed. So this is the content that was extracted from that module. So you can test that everything happens as you want it to happen. And then there is the search uh, log. So if I go back to the portal and do a test search, in the meanwhile, I will show you where this files are. So these are per portal files. So if I want to look at the search logs, they will be generated under each portal. So I go under portal zero, logs, search boost, and then uh, I open the search index for today. Here you'll also notice two file names. This is uh, UI is something that we use to debug the administration console. And this is used for the uh, for searches. So I open this one. And here it tells me that um, a search has been made and then if either to filter and then what instances to search and then what filters to apply so it tells you everything and then what it's trying to do to highlight what uh, facets it extracts 
and then it, st it starts serializing results and it also puts the results here so you can see what results have been uh, returned for this search <coughs> yeah so if i if i were to go in and do another search now <coughs> and now if i go back and i have this tool uh, where i just press uh, uh, f2 and it refreshes the file and now uh, you can see more lines were added below here so this is were just added by this search age performance so it contains all the metadata that was extracted plus the results and that's one way <coughs> the other way to debug the index and probably more powerful is to look at the at the index with a uh, with a tool called look so actually, if you go on our documentation site, you will see a uh, you'll see this <coughs> you'll see a section on this called "Analyze Lucene Index with Look," and it also gives the uh, link where to download Look and some uh, some more information. But I will show you this right now. So I already have Look. You just have to extract it. You don't have to install or anything. So I I should have it somewhere here. Yeah. And also you, you need to get various versions of Look as not all the version will work with this, uh, with Cerberus. I tried uh, Look 4.0 and it didn't work. So now I'm on Look 3.5 and this seems to work fine. And then you have to open the index. I will show you where the index is located. So if you go into the portal root in the portals default, you'll notice here two folders. These are actually some copies that I just created backups. I can just delete. So there are actually only two folders. This folder that contains the index and this one is used for autocomplete. So it actually, it's a plugin that creates all sorts of combination between words. So uh, autocomplete works on top of this index. <coughs> okay, so this is the index folders. And if you open it, you'll notice that there are some binary files in it. You don't want to touch them. You, you just want the folder name and give it to look here in the open dialog okay <coughs> and now uh, the first screen you'll notice some uh, statistics look will tell you um, how many terms are how many documents are indexed so it has it has 178 documents and 5000 uh, 5, terms so these are some uh, general statistics and then you can go and browse uh, and browse each term and then you can go and search and this is probably what you'll use most so uh, you always remember have to use the standard analyzer this will work with the uh, search boost it's compatible with our own analyzer and then you have to specify a default field if you don't want to match here and I will I will start with the default field so I let's say I just search for test so so these are the only step I have to do. Select standard analyzer, use content, and type search, and hit search. <coughs> and now you see, I got all the results that have test in content. And there are actually uh, 58, doc five, uh, 58 documents, and I can browse all the pages. <coughs> but then you can, um, you can go and uh, use um, uh, the Lucene syntax. And there's also a link on the documentation site and you can uh, for example search in some particular field for example this will search for the word test in the title field and you can uh, you'll notice the title field is um, is this one so this is the title field so i'm just searching and you see i got results <coughs> that have this test in the title field title field here is the last one okay so you can actually browse these documents and see all the fields they have because they have uh, many different fields and you can use them for many different purposes and including some uh, custom fields so you see this that start with um, two underscores these are custom fields that service extracts from custom rules or from uh, metadata files for documents and you can actually perform searches or filters by this custom uh, filters here 
but we don't have an advanced search yet but you can do it manually by uh, appending to the url appending a query string to the url and there is actually some examples on our site and on our forums related to this okay so once you're interested to know more about a document you can also uh, double click it and it will go back to the documents tab and here it will show detailed information uh, about all the fields and also you can see for example for the content i want to see the term vector so how many terms are there so you see there's only one term test and it appears to time and it also has some uh, positioning information but uh, let's go in and take maybe one that has more content No, I, I can't seem to find one here. Content. Yeah, this this one looks like more content, but it repeats. Okay, so here you can see this actually also has more categories, so this will work uh, nice with faceted search. It also uh, has uh, some paths, and here is the content and the term factor. Here is also some um, Chinese. And when uh, when search boost does a search performs a search lucene actually takes into looks at these terms that are already indexed and can be uh, find very fast and also this uh, positioning and frequency information for example if you search for test because in this content you have the word test nine times um, it will be considered more important than other results that only have it one time but this is also relative to the size of the content. So if you have it one time in a one time in the one time in a sentence that has three words, it's much more um, heavy, much more important than having it uh, nine times in a text that has one thousand pages. So it also matters the size of the content. And above this, uh, search boost also applies additional boosts based on uh, various fields that you can configure here in the in the uh, search engine screen so you can go to search settings to search engine and here you can, you have some boosts you can boost the content or you can boost the title you can boost the uh, individual fields so this is it for example uh, one issue that we had uh, recently with a customer is that some documents appear to have uh, to different permissions that expected and you can actually go into the index search for the for the words that you know that will return the documents and then double click it see what's in here look at the roles see if it has uh, all the roles you expected so in this case administrator and registered users i expect it to be that but if it's all users then you will know uh, that it uh, it will be visible to all users and you have to check that in DNN also, and then if it's not seen, do a re-index and see if that fixes it. So this gives you a starting point to see what information is, is stored, so you can uh, determine by yourself where the problem is. And finally, one more thing I want to show you is how to test the document analyzer. And for this, you can go in... Uh, in a page that de uh, deploys with search boost <clears throat> and here you see you can uh, you can upload the file and you will just see the content uh, if, for example let's try a pdf file and i will go into the test folder and you see there are i have some uh, pdfs here that also deploy with search boost because they are used sometimes for uh, capability detection so I just select this uh, PDF extract content and here I have the test word that this PDF contained the word test so this way you can uh, test that the content is properly extracted from a PDF because many times it happened that some formats of the PDF are not supported by uh, some I filter versions or some you know there are a lot of incompatibilities and you want to test that the PDF your debugging is actually can be extracted uh, nicely by this uh, uh, this tool, the test indexer tool that uh, uses the same code as the real indexer.
obviously. So this is uh, all the debugging you can do and it will give you a starting point to determine where the problem is. And when we, when, when you come for support on our forums, I usually ask for these files. So I usually ask and I created a section so I don't have to, to, to enumerate it every time. I just give this link to people saying you have to go into the general screen, enable logging, uh, do some tests to reproduce the issue and then uh, to generate the log files and then uh, send the log files to us and also send the uh, index folders to us. So we have everything and we open it with Lucene and we look at the logs and try to figure out what's happening. And we, we usually can determine it just by having all these files. But most of the times you can do this for yourself and you you'll gain speed because you can do adjustment as you go. And expect in a future version that this step, the step number five and six, will actually be automated. So you just click a button and we'll have some code to zip all these files and email it to us. We'll see, we'll see how that works. Okay, this is it. Um, thank you for your time.